hey guys welcome back to my channel so in this video i would be sharing with you a few things that i think you should do to get you to the point of being ready to start a new journey a new project a new promotion when you feel like you are not ready to so if you're interested in this video please keep watching don't forget to subscribe and share with your friends and family and i'll see you in the video you doing today welcome back to my channel my name is toby achidume if this is your first time here you are super welcome i am so excited to have you here with me so here on this channel we talk about topics tips and tricks that will help us grow fearlessly into the best version of ourselves so if you're interested in videos and tips like that then please click the subscribe button so you get notified when we have new videos up if you are a returning subscriber you are super welcome as well i am super excited so excited to have you back with me again today thank you for tuning in and thank you for sticking with me today i am going to share with you on things that you should do when you feel like you are not ready to start so last week i think it was last week i shared with you on why it is important for you to stop waiting for a perfect time to start something and just start today so today i'm going to share with you a few tips on what to do when you feel like you are not ready to start because trust me there are going to be moments where you feel like you have this amazing awesome idea but you are not ready to start it for whatever reason or the other maybe because you're trying to get a perfectly done job or you're just afraid of failing so that's what we are going to talk about today so sit back get a glass of your favorite drink and let's get into today's video the first thing i'm going to say is that there is never going to be a 100 percent feeling of being ready to start something there is always going to be an iota of fear when it comes to stepping into something new or trying something that you have not tried before either a new job a promotion to a new space a business that you want to start a new program that you would want to start whatever it is there is always going to be an iota of fear that comes with that because when it's something new we are not used to it there is always going to be a feeling of how am i going to fit in how am i going to make sure that this is good what are the things that i need to do to make sure that i do not feel lost in this new environment that i have found myself in and so for these reasons there is always going to be you feeling like you're not ready to take the next step or you are not ready to take the step that you need to take towards working towards that new territory or new terrain that you are supposed to be in and so for this reason i'm going to share with you a few things i don't know how many they are maybe four or five things that you should do to make sure that you get to the point of starting or the things that you should do when you feel like you are not ready to take that step towards starting on your new journey or your new project so the first thing that you are going to do or the first thing i'm going to say that you should do is to write down that idea write down that new step that you need to take and not just writing it as in one point or bullet point you're going to write a detailed plan of what that thing is so say for example you're trying to start a new project write down what that project is write down all the what's about it so what does the project entail what are the things that i need to do towards this project every single thing about the project write it down and then write down the how how am i going to do this what do i need to do this what are the steps that i need to take how long is it going to take for me to execute this project how long do i need to be ready for this new promotion how long do i need to be ready for this new start whatever it is that you need towards this new terrain or this new territory or this new step i have no idea why i keep saying terrain write it down in a detailed way in a way that when you see it you're not confused of what you need to do or how you need to do it write it down clearly so that even when somebody sees it they are certain or they are sure of what you need to do towards this new step that you are trying or that you want to take so write it down in clear and i say write because i like to write so it could be for you type it out it could be for you put it in a place where you're always going to see it in a picture form or whatever point is you're moving it from an idea in your head onto surface so that it starts its journey of reality so move it to a paper move it to a surface move it to something that you can see hold and touch so that that way it's not just an idea in your head but it's actually something that you are telling yourself you're interested in working on the next thing that you need to do is to write down all the reasons why you think you are not ready for this step 
So what are the things that are holding you back? What are the limitations that you think are stopping you from taking this next step? What are the obstacles? What are the challenges that you think you are going to face when it comes to these new projects that you want to start, this new promotion that you're trying to get? Write down all the reasons why you think you're not qualified for it. All the things that you think are going to stop you from working towards it. The things that are going to justify why you think you're going to fail on it. Those are the things that you need to write it down. And again, don't just write down in bullet points. Be clear, be explicit in what you're writing. Make sure that it's something that when you see it, you're not trying to remember what you mean by this thing that you have written down. Write it down clearly so that you're able to see it. All your justifications for not starting, write them down again. When I say write down, I'm not just saying write pen and paper, but I'm saying move it from your head to surface so that you can see it and deal with it the way it is supposed to be dealt with. After this point, the next thing I'm going to say you should do is to write down all the reasons why you are the best candidate to execute this new project. So all of the reasons why you think you're going to succeed at it, all the things that you think makes you capable, makes you the person to work on it, makes you the person to get this promotion, makes you the person to start this new project, makes you the person to start this new business. Write down all of those reasons, the things that justify the desire for you to want to start something new. Write them down and again, write them down clearly. In fact, this one should be more clear than any other thing that you have written because we are trying to get you to the point of starting and not giving up on an idea that you have not even started at all so write them down clearly all of the justifications for the reasons why you feel you are the best candidate to start it why am i the one to do this project what am i bringing to the table when it comes to this if i get asked for my reason for wanting to do this what is that reason write all of this down clearly and you're doing this for you not for any other person you're doing it to convince yourself on why you are the person to do this so sit down all of this does not have to be done in a hurry you don't have to do it in five minutes if you need a whole day to do it use a whole day to do it if you need a week to do it use a week to do it but make sure that you are doing it for yourself and not for any other person so write down all the reasons why you think you're the best candidate to do this new task to carry out this new task or this new project or to get that promotion that you want write them down clearly the first step is that now we are going to compare your reasons for not wanting to start and your reasons for wanting to start so we're comparing point two and point three together the point of doing this is that you need to see if your reasons for not wanting to do it are legit enough to stop you from doing it or if your reasons for wanting to do it are detailed are clear are so amazing to you enough to make you want to do it so the point is to see that your reasons for doing it or your reasons for wanting to do it can overshadow your reasons for not wanting to do it if it's an idea that is passionate to you if it's an idea that you know you are supposed to be doing and if it is your own idea something that you are interested in your reasons for wanting to do it should definitely overshadow your reasons for not wanting to do it and that's the point that you need to get to put the two points together why don't i want to do it why do i feel like i would fail at it and why do i think i should be doing it why will i succeed at these things put the two reasons together and look at them and analyze them your reasons for wanting to do it should counter your reasons for not wanting to do it basically what you should see in your reasons for not wanting to do it is fear or perfection or any of all those other things that we by ourselves put on ourselves or maybe you feel like you're going to fail at it but your reasons for wanting to do it should tell you that you are able to do it and make you want to take the next step the next and the last thing that i'm going to say you should do is because at this point your reasons for wanting to do it should have overshadowed your reasons for not wanting to do it you should break it down into daily tasks weekly tasks or monthly tasks tasks that you are able to do break it down into the most minute bits the, the smallest bit ever break it down to the point where there are no excuses that you can give yourself as to why you are not doing it break it down into the tiniest bit into a mustard seed so that you are always pushed at that point there is no other excuse that can justify you not doing what you need to do so these are five things that you should do when you feel like you are not ready to start a project put yourself in a quiet place a quiet environment where you can ask yourself questions 
and do this ask yourselves these questions why do i feel like i would be able to do this why do i feel like i shouldn't be doing it compare these reasons together break them down break the reasons down break the goals down break the project itself down into achievable bit and you can spread this across time you can spread the project across two weeks three weeks three months as long as you think you need to execute the project but make sure that you have been able to convince yourself convince your body your soul your mind and everything about you that this project is yours this promotion is yours this business is yours and then again start working on it so these are things that i think will be very helpful in helping you get to the point of starting rather than waiting for a perfect time please let me know if these points were helpful to you please share with me also in the comment section if you have any other ideas or suggestions as to getting to a starting point rather than waiting for a perfect time. I would like to see them in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to share with your friends and family and I'll catch you in the next one. Till next time, bye.